Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be another book recommendations video, which I haven't done one of these in what seems like so long. I think the last one I did was my like reads of 2020 video. So I'm excited to share some more of my recent favorite reads with you guys. As most of you know, my favorite types of books are books on self-transformation spirituality, doing inner work, healing. Those are all the books that I'm just so drawn to and I just love to learn more and more about all of those kinds of topics. So I do have five books that have recently transformed my life. I have the book sitting right here so I'm just going to share each one with you guys and tell you a little bit about it. But before I get into the books, I want to give a huge thank you to Vaunt for working with me on this video. They were kind enough to send me their clip on reading light. Look at this, you guys. So you have your typical clip on reading lights that you like clip on to the book that you're actually reading. Well, the cool thing about this, I mean, if you can't tell the size is a lot bigger, but this clip can clip onto like so many things. The light just turned on. So I will show you guys how I typically clip this to use when, you know, the lighting's dimmer in my room or I want to read like with the lights off. So basically you just turn on by lightly tapping this right here and it's got one setting, two settings, three settings. So as you can see, this one's super bright. It's literally like, what do you call it? It's literally like a ring light, you know? For me, I typically use the first or second setting. The third one just is a little too bright for me, but I mean, it's totally up to you to choose your preference. Also, this is super duper bendy and flexible, so you can adjust it, you can pull it this way, that way whatever <laughs> so this is amazing i absolutely love using this and it is chargeable which is amazing it also has a very long battery life as well i'm gonna have a link to this clip on reading light at the top of the description box in case you guys want to check it out you can get it right on amazon if you're a big reader like me i promise you this will change the reading game for you thank you so much vaunt for working with me on this video and be sure to check them out in the link down below First book, here we go. So the first book I have to share with you guys is called Whatever Arises, Love That by Matt Kahn. I read this book back in January, I believe. Maybe I started at the end of December, but I read it and it was like the first book I read of the new year and it was just exactly what I needed to read at that time. And I had never heard of Matt Kahn before, so I just kind of stumbled upon this book in a bookstore. It was on sale. I don't know, I think the title just kind of caught my eye and I was like, I'm gonna give this book a chance. It ended up becoming one of my favorite books I've ever read. I have a new love for Matt Kahn and I'm actually gonna share another one of his books later in the video. I'll read you a bit of the back description. Groundbreaking teachings on engaging love as the most potent catalyst for transformation and healing. Yes, that that is it. That is this book in a nutshell. It also says, at this moment, there are endless gifts residing in your heart. In whatever arises, love that, Matt Kahn invites you to discover for yourself how powerful, inspired, and fulfilled you were always meant to be. Once the act of opening your heart is recognized as the timeless remover of every obstacle. So I think this book really just helps you embrace what is and kind of surrender to that with love. I think a lot of our struggle and suffering comes from constantly running away from what we're feeling and not being willing to acknowledge it and embrace it. And so I think this book really helps you look at all of the feelings and emotions you experience with compassion and understanding. And like the title says it itself, like whatever arises within you is okay and it should be felt in order to be released. I think that's kind of like a common thread in all the books I'm gonna to share today is like, just feeling all the feelings you know because I know I grew up constantly thinking that negative emotions were bad and like if I gave in to my sadness or anger at any point I was doing a bad thing and I had to be this really happy positive person 24 7 and if I didn't then I was failing myself in some way and so the biggest lesson for me in these past couple months has just been like all of your darkness is okay and being able to embrace the shadow side and you 
you know. And letting those emotions come up and fall away is just completely necessary to truly heal and grow from whatever experience you're going through. As you can see, I annotated a ton in this book and I also love how he has like self-healing mantras which are beautifully written and I still go back to them. I still go back to certain chapters in this book that really, really resonate with me. I just can't recommend it enough. And like, look at these colors. This, this cover is just beautiful. Highly recommend this one. Next up, we've got another one by Matt Kahn, and it is called Everything is Here to Help You, Finding the Gift in Life's Greatest Challenges. I just love that other book that I was like, I want to read more of his work because I don't know, something about his writing style just like really resonated with me. It was like everything I needed to hear at the time, and he says it and writes it in such a loving and compassionate way. I'm gonna read you a little excerpt from the back cover. Each chapter highlights Matt's most cutting edge teachings and loving wisdom. From learning how to unravel blame by exploring the four stages of surrender, to providing step-by-step -step energy clearings and recited activations to amplify the power of your consciousness, this book offers a clear roadmap to explore the magic, mysteries, and miracles that reside in every heart. He has this one chapter, I believe it is, called The Golden Question, and I think reading that chapter helped me, and still does to this day, see the obstacles in my life from a different perspective, and knowing that they're here to serve me, and what can I learn from this, or how can I grow from this experience, no matter how tragic or hard it may feel in the moment. There's another chapter in here that talks about the masculine and the feminine and I love that so much and how our masculine and feminine qualities can become very unbalanced and as a result we suffer or we close our hearts off to the world because of it. Learning more about that really helped me, you know, get more in touch with, you know, my masculine and my feminine because I do tend to reject the masculine, but the masculine has really great attributes and qualities that I I want to be able to embody, you know. Pretty much any heavy emotion you can think of, he addresses it and kind of shows you the upside of that emotion and the good that can come from experiencing that. I hope I explained that well. I probably was all over the place, but I would just suggest that you go and pick up this book. Next, we've got Radical Compassion by Tara Bratch, and oh, this book was just like the hug that I needed at this time in my life when I was reading it. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing how many annotations I have in this book. That's like insane. But this book was just so good with so many nuggets of wisdom and love and practices. Uh, okay, so Tara Bratch basically teaches a method known as RAIN. So it is an acronym for recognize, allow, investigate, and nurture. This is essentially a method to cope and deal and heal from difficult or heavy emotions that you may be feeling. Here's a little bit of what the back cover says. In this heartfelt and deeply practical book, she offers an anecdote, an easy to learn four step rain meditation that quickly loosens the grip of difficult emotions and limiting beliefs. Each step in the meditation practice, recognize, allow, investigate, and nurture, is brought to life by memorable stories from Tara and her students, or Tara, as they deal with loss and self-aversion, with painful relationships and past trauma, and as they discover the deep wisdom that can heal our own lives and the hurting world around us. So you learn this meditation thought process known as RAIN, and it helps you be able to really notice the emotions that you're experiencing and allow them to be there and then you slightly investigate but not like over analyzing the situation more so just asking like why does this hurt or what is the most painful thing about this emotion or experience and then you end the process by nurturing so being there for yourself and you can be like the future version of you the higher version of you you can be god speaking to you 
but you basically just you know let yourself know that it's okay to feel what you're feeling right now and you kind of speak from like a wiser perspective i think nurture is so important because it ties back into the title of this which is radical compassion having radical compassion for others starts with having that radical compassion for ourselves if we don't have that for ourselves we are going to be so much less likely to be able to be there and show up in that way for others such a phenomenal book again i randomly stumbled upon this book in a bookstore one day i haven't read her book radical acceptance which i guess was the previous one for this so i definitely want to read that book soon i can't say enough good things about this i just i absolutely love it and i resonated with it so deeply and i know you guys will too so definitely check this book out if you'd like the fourth book i have to share with you guys today is called welcoming the unwelcome by pema chodron i believe that's how you say it this is actually the first pema chodron book i've ever read and i've always heard really good things about her and her teachings and i just never thought to pick up one of her books until i saw this one i actually bought this the same day that i bought the radical compassion book again i just felt like the title really caught my attention like i mentioned before these books have a very common theme and this one definitely ties into that theme because it helped me open up to all the possibilities that lie in endings in hurt in painful emotions or situations in loss you know there are so many things that we as humans want to reject or avoid run away from whether that be you know our impact on the earth and climate change or seeing people who are homeless or going through devastating loss or poverty and then in more personal situations like losing a loved one or going through a breakup all of those things like we can tend to take the escape route and numb ourselves but this book you know welcoming the unwelcome teaches you and really emphasizes the importance of not running away, not choosing the escape route when those situations come up in our lives. It really all starts with us and if we're willing to accept that there is a lot of tragedy in our world and there is a lot of pain in others and being able to see them as a reflection of, you know, ourselves and the flaws that we have as well. Just being willing to understand where they're coming from or why they do the things they do or why they are the way they are. Acknowledging the darkness that exists will allow us to be able to set an intention for what we can do to be a light for that darkness and to you know actually impact the world in a positive loving way i just flipped to a random page and i'm gonna read this quote that i highlighted being conscious means you really have to feel what you feel which is frequently very vulnerable and raw. Widening our perspective and becoming more conscious individually also has a positive effect on our society. If enough of us can really feel what we feel, if enough of us can stay upright with our vulnerability instead of spiraling down, then that will naturally lead to more people being there for each other. So, so good. Highly, highly recommend you all check this book out. Well, check out all of them. I know I've said that for like every single one, but that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> all right, the fifth and final book I have to share with you guys today is When Things Fall Apart by Pema Chodron. I had to go and pick up this book because when I posted and shared that I was reading Welcoming the Unwelcome, quite a few of you DM'd me saying that you had read When Things Fall Apart by her and that the book was just so good and I had to read it, so. Here I am, I read it, I absolutely loved it. If you are in a position where you feel like your life is falling apart or you just don't know what the heck you're doing and you're in this void of uncertainty, this book, you gotta read it. Even if you're not going through that right now, it's just nice to have this book and to have it as a tool to look back to whenever you find yourself in a difficult situation. This book talks about so much loneliness, hopelessness and death, learning to relax with what is and surrender, intimacy with fear, how to deal with opinions, working with chaos. There are just so many valuable insights in this book. The back cover is a quote and it says, 
Life is a good teacher and a good friend. Things are always in transition if we could only realize it. Nothing ever sums itself up in the way that we like to dream about. The off-center, in-between state is an ideal situation, a situation in which we don't get caught and we can open our hearts and minds beyond limit. In the book, Pema talks a lot about feeling like there's no ground beneath you, this groundlessness and how uncertain it can feel and how scary it can feel, but really it's a place of so many possibilities and being willing to open yourself up to that, that is incredibly, incredibly strong and courageous of you to be able to do. As soon as you learn how temporary everything is, then you can finally like feel like all is well because all is temporary and things are gonna come and they're gonna go and that's okay. That's just the nature of the world that we live in and this human experience overall. Just so good. So, so good. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's all I have to share with you all today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found a new book that you want to go and get and read. I promise you can't go wrong with any of these. They will all teach you something and expand your mind in some way. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I just appreciate you all more than you know. Be sure to check out Vaunt and their clip on Reading Light. I will have a link below for you guys. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to be here, be still, and be loved, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.